Today, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own Solana token, your own meme coin from start to finish. Absolutely no coding required, and I'm going to make it so simple and easy to follow that even your grandparents could do this. By the end of this video, you'll have your own token in your wallet, live, tradable by anybody across the world. You will officially be a developer, your own dev. First things first, we need to have a Solana wallet with some Solana in it. Can't do anything without that. I recommend Phantom. Now, you can do this on your phone or your computer. Both work, but it is so much easier to do this on your computer, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So once you have all that, hopefully you do, we're going to go to oriontools.io. Orion Tools is the token creator that I've used in all of my previous meme coin guides. Go ahead and connect our wallet to the site so we can get started. Just make sure you have the right wallet connected for NGV and for NGV right there. So it's the right wallet connected and we are ready to begin. First thing we need to fill out is the name. The name is the most important part of your meme coin. Every great meme has a great name. That's where it starts. Your name defines your meme coin, your token, just like the logo does. So make sure you think long and hard about what kind of name you wanna have, what kind of symbol you wanna have, all this fun stuff. For this video, I just came up with something random. I asked ChatGPT to make me a frog ninja token logo, and this is what it came up with, so this is what we're going to use. My idea for this video is going to be a ninja frog meme coin. I'm gonna make some kind of ninja frog meme coin. Ninja frog is the name. Symbol is gonna be N-I-N, J A F Ninja. We have the name of our token, which is just Ninja Frog spelled out. The symbol of your token is just like how it works in the stock market. Microsoft, the symbol is M S F T. Amazon, A M Z N. Apple, A A P L. It's just a shorter version of your token name. So for this video, I'm going to do Ninja F for Ninja Frog. Decimals, we're not going to touch. We keep that at six. Most meme coins have six decimals. That's just default. So I'm not going to change that at all. All right, image. I just uploaded the logo of my token, the Ninja Frog logo right here. Pretty simple logo right there. Ideally, you want to upload your image in PNG format. That's what I did with this and just a square image for your logo. So it's nice and square, nice and uniform. That's what we have right here. So we have our name, symbol, decimals, image, and now we have to decide what kind of supply we wanna have for our token. How many Ninja Frog tokens do we wanna have out there? I'm gonna go with a billion. That's just a sweet spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe that's a billion. One billion Ninja Frog tokens. That's a lot of Ninja Frog tokens. The majority, the vast majority, 95% plus, have 1 billion tokens. Now for your description, you don't need to write something long, just something short and sweet would work fine. You can do whatever you want for this as well. It's not super important. Nobody really looks at the description that much. All right, so we've got our name, symbol, decimals, image, supply, and a little description of our token right here. Now it comes down to the important stuff, so make sure you're paying attention. Revoke, freeze, and revoke, mint. We wanna select both of these. Revoking freeze, allows you to create a liquidity pool, which is what you need to do to create your token. It is absolutely necessary. Without a liquidity pool, nobody can buy and sell your token. And that's why this is required right here. Revoke Mint. This isn't necessary, but I would seriously recommend it. Revoking Mint Authority just means that we cannot create any more tokens. The supply that we're creating is gonna be the final supply. There will only forever be 1 billion Ninja Frog tokens out there. I can't print any more. That's just a huge green flag for anyone who wants to buy your token. That's what they're gonna look for when they do buy your token. I'm editing this video and I just wanted to add something really quickly. If you do not revoke your Mint Authority when you initially make your token, you can always do that later. Just scroll down on the page right here, revoke Mint Authority, select your token and then select revoke mint. All right, now we're gonna click on show more options down here. If you have a telegram link for your token, if you have a website already, if you have a Twitter or X account for your token, you should add them here because that only helps your token out more. Creating a telegram account for your token is super simple. There's a million guides out there. I also have a guide that I'll link somewhere up in this video or in the comments down below. You can follow that along if you want. Very, very simple and easy to set up. Same with your website. Another link right here somewhere that I made a video on how to do that. I just use Canva, Twitter X. I think you guys all know how to create a Twitter account. And then once you have all these links, it just adds more value to your token and people can see them. So that's why I recommend that. But because I don't have any links for this video and I'm still gonna fill it out, just some random stuff. Telegram, username, website link, just example.com. And Twitter, we're gonna do Kanye West because he's crashing it on Twitter right now. Tip down here, coin data cannot be changed after creation. Once you've double checked everything and it looks good, we are officially ready to create our token. This is the exciting part. Go ahead and click on create token. A pop-up will happen over here on the right-hand side. Transaction confirmation. This is the summary for your transaction. You can see right here, it's going to cost about 0.5 Solana to create your token and you'll receive in return 1 billion unknown tokens. It says unknown because the token isn't created yet, but as soon as you click confirm, those unknown tokens will become Ninja Frog tokens, and that's what will show up in your wallet. 
So if this all looks good, 1 billion, 0.5, I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm and officially create my token. All right, clicked on confirm, transaction confirmation and loading down here. And in a couple of seconds, maybe two seconds, there you go, token created successfully. Here is your token address. And you can see below, create liquidity pool and view on SoulScan. Also, if you click on your Solana wallet, like I do right here. And then if you scroll down, you can see right here, I have 1 billion Ninja Frog tokens in my wallet created and ready to go. So congratulations, you have officially made your token. First step is done. Now all we need to do is launch our liquidity pool, which makes it live for everybody so they can trade it. And then once that's done, your token is live. So we're getting there, we're getting there. So okay, token created successfully. You have your token address right here if you want, you can copy that. I'm gonna go down here and click on create liquidity pool. And that'll move us over to the next step. You can also click right here, but I'm just gonna click here. It's the same thing. You know, we're gonna move to this next page right here, create liquidity. So this is where we initialize our liquidity pool and launch our token. You can see right here, there's two different options, CPMM and AMMV4. For this video, we're going to do AMMV4. That's what the vast majority of tokens are nowadays. They are using the AMMV4 liquidity pool. And the difference between CPMM and AMMV4, so for CPMM pools, every single transaction is going to have a fee, a fee that you select. So the lowest is 0.25%. It goes all the way up to 4%. I would never recommend 4% fees on any kind of uh, liquidity pool because that's just way too much. Nobody's going to want to buy if you have a 4% fee on every single transaction. The lowest you can do is 0.25, but we don't even need to do that anymore. Like I said, that is the old way of launching coins. The new way has zero fees and that's what people like to see. So we're going to do AMMV4 for this video. So we're going to go over here and select our token and you'll see you'll have Ninja Frog token right here. You select my token. You can see I've got a billion in my wallet. So after we select our token, we have to decide how many tokens do we want to have in the liquidity pool? How many tokens do you want to have circulating for people to buy and sell from? When I launched Hemi, my meme coin, I did 90%. I will say I recommend you do at least 95% of your token supply. Keeping any more than 5%, especially if you're anonymous, isn't really that great. It's one thing if you're publicly running the project like I am, having 10% is different. But if you're not publicly running the project, if your face isn't connected to it, if you're doing this anonymously, I would recommend having fewer tokens for the dev supply, just because when people are buying your token, they don't want to see that one wallet has 10% of the entire supply of the token. So that's why I recommend having the majority of the supply in the liquidity pool. Just makes your token look a lot more safe, a lot more trustworthy. And after you launch your token, you can always buy from the market yourself if you want more. So for this video, I'm going to do 99% of the token supply, keeping one for myself. Now moving down here to quote token. Your quote token determines your initial price. So if I have 100% of my supply and I tie 10 Solana to that 100% of my tokens, that 1 billion tokens equals 10 Solana. You pair them together. And here is your initial price down below. This is the price for one of your tokens. One Ninja Frog token costs a bunch of zeros and then a one. I recommend 10, five to 10 is fine. You can do less, you can do more. The more the merrier I say, but just know that this Solana that you put into your liquidity pool is gonna be locked forever. I already have my own token. It's called Hemi on Solana, and that's the only token I'm focusing on right now. So I'm just showing you guys how this is done. I'm not gonna actually do anything with this token. I'm gonna make this liquidity pool really, really small just to kind of limit the transactions. So for this video, it's gonna be 0.001 Solana liquidity pool making our token price basically worthless. So once we have our supply right here, 99% of Ninja Frog tokens, tying it up to one or 0 0.001 Solana, one or 0 0.001 Solana, that creates our initial price of a bunch of zeros and then a one, basically worthless, like I said. We're gonna go ahead and click on initialize liquidity pool. Now keep in mind, once you initialize your liquidity pool, click confirm, your token is launched. Anybody can buy and sell it. It is officially on the market. So I'm gonna have this link in the description below. It is the DEX screener, new pairs tab. Any kind of token that launches on Solana pops up here. You can see this age is 39 seconds ago. This token was launched a minute ago. All these about a minute ago. Any new token that gets launched, you will see pop up right here, just like Finabags right here, Finbags launched 25 seconds ago. Once we launch our token, it will pop up right here and you can click on it and view the chart. Keep this tab open in another tab while we launch our token, just so you can go ahead and check to see that your token is officially launched. So I'm gonna go over here and click on initialize liquidity pool. So initialize liquidity pool. Transaction confirmation is gonna pop up right here. And the cost of creating a liquidity pool is one, 
Solana, we're going to add 990 million Ninja Frog tokens to the liquidity pool, and we're going to get back almost 100,000 unknown tokens. The unknown tokens that we get in return is a receipt that is our liquidity pool tokens. This is what we're going to burn to lock our liquidity pool, forever making it so the liquidity pool is untouchable. And that is what we absolutely need to do to launch our token. Nobody is going to buy your token if your liquidity pool is not locked. This all looks great. We're gonna get our liquidity pool tokens in return, Ninja Frog tokens going into the pool, and a little bit of Solana. I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm, and we will have officially launched our token. So transaction confirmation down here. There we go, liquidity pool successfully created. Now if we check our wallet, you can see we were charged one Solana. We have 10 million Ninja Frog tokens left in our wallet. Now, if I go to the deck screener page, the new pairs tab, boom, right here, Ninja Frog, it is already up 12,000%. Now you can see right here, there's a warning saying this pair has very little liquidity. That is only because I did 0.01 Solana for the liquidity pool. There's only $34 in here, making the liquidity pool extremely small. Now what we need to do next is lock our liquidity pool. So it shows a little green lock mark right here, which is what people look for when they wanna buy your token. So to burn our liquidity pool tokens, we're gonna go over here to either burn token or burn token. It's this one page right here. And it'll show you your liquidity pool tokens. So you can see right here, we have 99,500 radium liquidity pool tokens, and we're going to burn this. Burning your liquidity pool tokens completely locks your liquidity pool. Before you burn all of your liquidity pool tokens, make sure your token launch went all right. Now, if I wanted to remove the liquidity of my token, if I wanted to restart, make a new pool, I could go down here, go to the pair section, copy this. This is your pool address. Go back to Orion tools, click on remove liquidity, enter your pool address right here. And then, you know, you can do max, you can do 100%, but we're not gonna do that because this is essentially rug pulling and I don't wanna rug pull. I'm gonna go out here, click on burn token. This is our LP token right here. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click on burn. If you wanna burn some of it, you can, you can always edit that right here, but we're gonna burn the entire amount to make it show 100% locked liquidity. So click on burn. Transaction's gonna pop up right here. You're going to burn all of your unknown tokens, all of your liquidity pool tokens. Click on confirm and you'll get a transaction confirmed message right here on the right-hand side, bottom right. Transaction success. You've officially burned all of your liquidity pool tokens. And now in about five to 10 minutes or so, it'll show right here, liquidity is locked. There'll be a lock emoji and then a green circle around it, making the project safe to buy with locked liquidity. That's all you need to do. Now, after that, your token is officially launched. You've created your token, you've launched your liquidity pool, You've burned your LP tokens and people can now buy and sell your token. Congratulations, you have officially launched your token. If you're curious on how to buy your token, you can go over here to the swap token section on Orion Tools. I've got my token right here. And if I wanted to buy, let's just say 20 bucks worth of my token, I could swap, click on swap, transaction will pop up, click on confirm. It takes about a second or two. Depending on how busy the network is, it might take a couple extra seconds. You can see right here, transaction confirmed, and our Ninja Frog token is pumping. <laughs> Ninja Frog token up 19,000%. Needless to say, this launch is going well, chart looks good. Now the next thing I would do is update my deck screener page, and you can do that by scrolling down here, clicking on update token information, paying the fee, and then you'll have your logo, a banner, more information about your project, your website link, Twitter link, Telegram link, all of that stuff will show up right here. Very, very simple and easy to follow. I don't really need to show you guys how it's done. I have in the past, if you wanna watch one of my previous videos, I show all of that. The Hemi Creation Guide shows all of that, and I'll link that right here down in the description below. So if you wanna check that out, you can. The process is still the same for that. All right, so it's been about five, 10 minutes or so. You can see right here, our liquidity pool now shows 100% locked. If I hover my mouse over it and click it, Total lock liquidity, 100%. This is what people look for before they buy your token. When your liquidity pool officially shows locked, expect some kind of buys. People are gonna be waiting for that one liquidity locked symbol. It probably showed up liquidity locked right around here and then price has increased since then. It only took a couple steps and I hope it wasn't nearly as difficult as you thought it was gonna be. The next step would be marketing your token, getting your name out there, posting memes, being active on Twitter, any social media platform possible, being as active as possible, launch a token, create liquidity pool, burn liquidity pool tokens, and then just market your token, and then you're done. You did it, you are officially a developer. Put your dev hat on. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below this video, and I will be replying to as many as I possibly can. If you launch your token with this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, it means a lot. I've got a couple more guides I'm going to be releasing in the coming weeks, so look out for that. Thank you all for watching, have a wonderful day. I wish you so much success with your new token. I hope it goes to a bajillion market cap, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.